Baruch asked, are there some types of music that are inherently bad? As there, are there certain types of instruments and stuff like that that are just bad by nature? And how does one go about, let's say, listening to music that they created when they were secular? So when they're secular, they made music, and now they're religious, and they want to listen to that. So it basically, is there damaging music, or is how do you look at that? So first of all, before I'll say my opinion about it, we have that amazing clarification havara of Rabbeinu Hakadosh. That Rabbeinu said that you need to learn to hear music only from a kosher player. Rav Shalom said that Rabbeinu said in a different place that a person cannot be kosher if he doesn't have one hour he did <coughs> So the kashrut of a person depends in if he's got one hour it bodedut a day or not. So it leaves us with something like three or four players to listen to. I'm one of them, that I'm doing one hour every day. Probably Rav Yosef Karduner is doing Sha'id bodedut every day. Bezrat Hashem, I hope for him. And uh, I don't know, that's about it. Or maybe Ariel Levy also, Ariel Levy. You have Ariel Levy. Nisim, Nisim is making shayit bodedut every day. Okay, so you have four, you have four people that you can listen. What? Israel Dagan probably. Okay, you have five. Israel Dagan, Rav Israel Dagan is doing shayit bodedut. So, maybe you have a few more. Maybe Isaac Miracles is doing shayit bodedut every day. Bezat Hashem. Maybe. Azamir is doing. Okay, you have six. You have. You see now. You have plenty of, that's it. So that's Da'at Rabbeinu HaKadosh. So that's Da'at Rabbeinu HaKadosh. When I'm Adiran, okay, eight. So when I'm thinking about it, so I think that before we're jumping so fast to change ourselves and, 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 uh, and, 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 to decide that that's it, I'm listening only to those people that are doing Sha'id Bodedut every day, it's, it, I'm not following that advice also. I'm not going to lie to you. The truth is that I'm checking what is damaging me and what is bringing me to bad places and what is not. A lot of times there are music that can be kosher and it pushes you down to sadness. And there are music that are, there's music that, that is not kosher, that you see that it gives you happiness, it gives you hope, it gives you reason to live. So, a person has to believe in himself and to check for himself what he feels that Hashem Barach is telling him. Because sometimes you cannot follow all of the advice. Shulchan Aruch is saying that you need to wake up in the middle of the night and to go to the mikveh and to say Birkot HaShachar before it's dawn, and then to pray Shachrit, and to finish all Korbanot, and Opsuke de Zimra before of sunrise, and then to stay Shmona exactly on sunrise. And not everyone are able to do that. There are people that their machine is not waking up before of 9, before of 10, and it's not like they can fight with it for now. If they're going to try to fight with it now, it's going to bring it a worse disaster than not keeping and following that Halakha for now. So it's better for you to be aware to yourself and to check your abilities. And if you want to improve yourself and if you want to work on yourself, so it's great. So work on that and pray that Hashem is going to give you more powers and more abilities and, and to be sharper and stronger and wiser and able to achieve more things in life. Great. But for now you need to check what brings you down and what brings you up. And if there are songs that makes you happy and give you a will to serve Hashem, to commit yourself to Hashem, so you need to follow that. You need to believe in that. And if you see that the music that is depressing you, even though that you like it, but you see that it's pushing you down to bad thoughts, to foreign thoughts, to sadness, to depression, so don't listen to that music. That's my answer.